What is up, guys? I am back in World of Horror. Last time we died. Oh, I could just continue from the last save, but we're not gonna do that. No, no, no. New story. Um. Oh, there are many color palettes. Um, no, I think we'll just go with black and white. We'll we'll be. Oh, customize the playthrough. No, 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 no. We'll. We'll um we'll can we'll do a full one. All right, get all this. Same as last time. All right, new one. The th the thing forsaken by God, banished to the other dimension, long time ago. But oh, this is uh this is the one we had from the unsaved playthrough. Awesome. So resting at home raises doom. Cool. All right. Uh no, not first time playing. Lighthouse is locked. Let's go home. Empty. Alright, straight into it. Uh, mystery bear. Oh, horrible history of the household help. We have done that. Eerie episode didn't fish it. The violent vigil. Crimson cape. Fine chilling story of school scissors. So we have. So we have seen, um, four of these four. So. Uh, Alright, let's do the eels. Ugh, it just sounds so slimy and bleh. Alright. Evolving eels. Also, having the word evolving just doesn't make me feel any better about these eels at all. All right, while returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know you turn around? It's your friend living in the same apartment complex. Kana, well, a friend. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows you and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. I mean, I'm not that curious about the weird fish, but who kidding? So, oh, awesome. Oh, wait, let's read through this. Oh, this is Kana. Cool. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please. Itch. Tyology. Huh. Also, ah, we're back. Looking normal again. Minus one damage received during combat. Ooh, you're cool. Please stay with me. Also, it, it's nice to, uh, nice to be back with no scratches, cuts, all that other crap that was on me. Um, well, this is how I've been doing it. So let's just run through the seaside real quick, because it seems like doing these kind of gives me some extra stuff, like helpful things. That looks like a person. Suddenly, the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Alright, brace yourself. Strength track failure. Blizzard tells you the bone and disappears as quickly as it began. Minus two stamina. Alright, great way to start. Okay, one more time. Just running through this. Topin, I'm hoping I can get some extra information because it seemed to be how it was. Invisible watcher. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. Minus two reason. That was minus... Three. Oh, you may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. Great. All right, through the people. What do you got? Wait. Oh, that's investigate the apartments, not look through the people, dumbass. All right, Mr. Zero Zero Zero. Your neighbor is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his new story. Okay, so we did. Um, I think I did. What's that picture last time? Um, and I don't, we don't really have any experience. Well, we can try sharing experience. Yeah, see, we don't really have an experience. Tell you don't have any recent stories that would help him. At least the public won't experience the same horrors you did. Minus one reason. Uh, okay, that... Ugh. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean, we shouldn't? We, we shouldn't break into his office. It must be empty because he just came back and his classes be in next week. Why would we break into his apart... Uh, into his classroom. All right. Uh, fine. Fine. Oh, it's the beaten heart again. Yep. Outside the biology classroom, inside an old nighting model, heart beating. Sick, minus one salmon. I, I still don't understand why this makes me sick instead of questioning why a mannequin's heart is beating. Like, I would be so much more into why its heart is beating instead of how disgusting it is. Alright. Neighbor's office at school is empty. You'd find... A few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protest, Kana decided to take one jar home. Oh no. Kana, have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. 
Do you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Okay, to the apartment. I feel like he's gonna come out and see it and just question us a lot. Oh, it's this dude. Um, oh yeah, listening to him is helpful. Yeah. So we lose Doom for reason, which is okay, because we are actually about 5% Doom, which is fine. I probably should check the other one, because I couldn't remember, I just knew it was helpful. Um, I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is this eel even alive? Okay. What's up? What's he doing? Investigating apartments. You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope end up in your bedroom? Plus two funds, minus one reason. So we have... So wait, we have no idea what's going on with him behind the... Bed. Oh, okay. Here we go. Connor was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both returned to your apartment and tried to decipher the notes. That's so weird. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Burnt notes. All right, let's look at them. Legend from the blah, 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 blah. prefecture. Eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. That's very unsettling. What does a neighbor do? Cost doomed to enter a chance for an ally. Oh. This might give me better allies than the shit that the other guys were. They're just giving me crap. Alright, um, I'm actually gonna go to items because we have six funds, so this might actually be pretty good. Alright, compass. I was right. Someone tried to burn. Oh, oh, okay. Um, so let me equip compass. Um, salt deals four damage to ghost type enemies. Trinket slot C allows additional two inventory slots. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I think it's just gonna keep coming back to that. So, equip you. And now we have, awesome, more inventory. Uh, shop. Um, I, I, I don't wanna get addicted to these. Um, plus three stamina, minus one charisma. All right, I do want all right, that's, that's the last we got, so let's pick up a steak knife so we have some kind of weapon. Just, I, I feel like we should have a form of a weapon just to have better uh, going-ons. All right, now back to the apartment. Oh, oh, it gives every time you purchase an item, it gives you doom. Well, we're only at 14, so it's not bad right now. All right, not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. Oh, you suddenly trip, but grab the railing the last second. When you get up to inspect, you trip it over, you freeze and tear it. It's slowly standing up. The ghost. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right as I decided to not have the minus four, the, the salt, I in encounter a person. Damage, minus one. Oh, it tells me the damage! Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, power. This stat defines your chance to successfully attack the enemy. The higher the power, the harder it will be. Currently, your chance to hit is lowered by 5%. <gasps> oh, this helps a lot. Oh, but I don't quite... I'm just going to do this because I don't fully remember how to deal with these people. Oh, our reason is not doing good. Can I regain one stamina? Can I meditate? Where's meditate? Oh, I can. Oh, you can. Oh, I can do these attacks as well. Okay. One, regain one reason costs two stamps. So we're going to. Well, she only deals it once. So. Maybe we can try dodge and then. Sever. Does dodging work? Does it. Uh, I don't know if. It takes a twisted corpse. But I don't know if dodging, like, properly works. So we're just going to try and beat the Christ out of this person. Yeah, take that. Um, Alright, so I do want to... Alright, so I want to I wanna hit her once, and then we're going to... I know it's going to like come back and bite me, but we're going to meditate. Two, four, six. Puts us at eight health, but that gives us three. Alright, so we'll do that, and then... 
He'll, yeah, okay, so that feels a little better, honestly. I mean, it doesn't look better, but it feels better. All right, there we go. Well, combat. Cool. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw this damned jar in into the trash. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Ooh, hardware store. Cost doom to enter. Funds for items. Oh, huh, okay. Alright, investigate. Well, we're out of funds, so there's no point. Cool air suddenly fills your mouth. It tastes metallic. Oh. Oh! Oh, we're back to this dude. So he deals reason damage, but I can punch him normally with the steak knife. So I think I can actually, yeah. So we're just gonna try and beat, beat him up real good. All right, uh, I think this will kill him. Ah, great, there we go. Resolve combat, cool. Thinking about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. Why would I go to sleep for that? What? You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? I went to, she's probably dead because I went to sleep. Why would I go to sleep? That's so dumb. All right, investigate school. Probably gonna find her in some like really weird state now. There was a hole here. All right, hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you enter. Light the candles, pick up the book, study the writing on the blackboard. Pick up the book. I mean, the book sounds pretty good. It's dark though, right? Seems empty. Once you're. Oh, wait. So it is dark. Wait, have my eyes adjusted? I'm gonna pick up the book. You recognize the sticker on the book. It came from the local library. Oh, cool. That was it. Book heavy. Use plus 10 experience. We'll hold on to it until the end in case it might be useful and then we'll use it. Because we keep items afterwards, I think. Kana has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Oh, oh, okay. This, I think this, this looks like the very end. So I'm actually going to use this just in case. All right, investigate. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh. All right, check the bathroom. Oh, hello. A swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside putrid murky water. Oh, both his eyes are missing with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Turn to kitchen. Mmm. All right, bedroom. Oh, Kana. I, I found the neighbor. When his eyes burst, I slipped in the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye, too. You must go to the hospital. You must puncture her eye now. Oh my god. Uh, I, no, no, we're going to the hospital. You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Fall asleep? Why would I go to sleep? When you wake up, it's already night. Trying to ask about your friend, you are met with weird reactions, as if she never existed. You rush to the operating theater yourself, but are stopped by armed policemen. Whatever happened, the doctors must have been too late to help. Oh no. Oh, that's it? What? That, that's it? I just lose her? Oh, dude. You still process the events of a previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs in eyes? Sitting before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. You wonder if you will ever hear from your friend again. No! That's so... that's horrible! So that means that's a god-awful choice no matter what I do. Alright, there's something wrong with the tap water. It is black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. Oh, great. Alright. Oh, cool. Small key. Night out. People. Oh! Oh! Someone is standing in the shadow watching your door. Oh! Alright, that's it. I'm just gonna. Oh, wait! Where'd my poster go? Oh, my poster. 
Oh, I feel like there's gonna be something there, like, any second. Um, alright. Take a bath. Oh, wait. Feeling of paranoid... Oh, yeah, contaminated water. Oh, right! I'm taking a bath in contaminated water. They don't fit water problems. Black and white and glistening. No way you're going to wash yourself in that. Okay. Oh, that sucks, so I can't heal? Oh, this might be a very short run. Alright, well, I will end this one here, and we will come back next time. So, uh, we're actually going to be playing through some ones we've done before, so next time I'll try and make some new choices, get some different things going on out there. But, I will end this one here, and if you are enjoying it, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.